The sheriff says this law is highly effective, but is being underutilized by the public. He says this is a powerful tool that can help prevent a tragedy. Life is full of signs. All of us, I think in a certain sense, have gotten numb to the, just the steady drumbeat of gun violence in our communities. But there are certain signs that can't be ignored, especially when it comes to guns. We rightfully get outraged on those ones where people sit there and say, how wasn't something done here? All the signals were there that there was going to be violence. The sheriff's office is making sure you notice new signs across Cook County raising awareness of the state's Firearms Restraining Orders Act. Under the law, a family member, roommate, or police officer can file a restraining order with the court to have police take away someone's firearms. If there is evidence the person could cause harm to themselves. Over half of the deaths by firearms every year are suicides. Or cause harm to someone else. Just last year, we had an incident where we went to a house where there was a very bad domestic violence case that had occurred. And someone had been very, hurt very badly. The individual, when he was taken into custody, the, the victim told us there were guns in the house. We could not get consent to go in the house, though. Some of the guns displayed on the table came from that case. We went in the house. We got 29 weapons out of that house. So this is something that has real impact on real people, and it's just such a valuable tool. But the sheriff says this valuable tool is rarely used by the public since it became law in 2019. He stresses filing one of these orders is simple. They literally go online, then go to the circuit clerk's um, website to download the petition form. They can go into court themselves that day, get the petition signed off by the judge. The judge will ask them a handful of questions, and then it, it, it comes to us to go to the house and get the guns out of there. While gun violence is difficult to tackle, authorities hope these visible reminders can aid with prevention. We all have to do more, and so that this tool is out there. It just has to be used. Now, the sheriff does say that there's a 14 day window where the person whose guns are being taken away can come to court and have a hearing if they don't agree with the order. Reporting in Maywood, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News.